Quadin 18.2 inhibitors are rapidly entering the clinic. The uh, landscape of first-line therapy is evolving. Zolbituximab is likely going to be approved. As, as you know, it's a naked, uh, it's a naked, naked Quadin 18.2 antibody that, in combination with chemotherapy, showed improvement in overall survival and progression-free survival, um, in, both in the GLOW study and the Spotlight study. What we know about those agents is that uh, it, there is no improvement in overall response rate, but the survival is improved, and the survival curves can separate relatively later on um, in, the, in the disease course, so six to nine months to even later sometimes. So all of those factors will come into the prioritization of the biomarker uh, targeting in the clinic. It's great to be able to see um, all of these important uh, characterizations with HER2, PDL1, MSI uh, particularly. And so if you had to prioritize how we would target the uh, patients, so MSI is the most important biomarker. Uh, then HER2, so the HER2 targeted agents such as pembrolizumab and trastuzumab combination is now FDA approved. Um, and then I would say it's PDL1, CPS5 cutoff, which is what we would use to prioritize use of nivolumab in first line setting because, again, that combination with Fulfox nivolumab improves its overall response rate in addition to other uh, survival. Uh, endpoints, and we do need tumor shrinkage in first-line setting because patients uh, can be quite symptomatic and need reduction in their disease burden. And then a third of the patients that have Claudin 18.2 overexpression, which is defined by 75% or more staining in IHC uh, 2 plus or 3 positive, would receive Zolbituximab. My sense in looking at the prospective data, the overlap between HER2, PDL1, CPS5, and Claudin 18.2 is relatively low. It's probably about 20% or so of patients or less. Um, so uh, it's great to have the Claudin 18.2 targeting. It's important because it really fulfills an unmet need. Uh, and really the next uh, frontier is to what to do for the so-called triple negative gastric, HER2 negative, PDL1 negative, Claudin negative, because those patients still need a lot of um, improvement in their outcomes. We are exploring cer uh, certain strategies in the clinic, both in phase two and three setting, to try to augment the T cell response, anti-tumor T cell response, uh, using tumor targeting, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors or antibodies. We've seen a lot of great uh, synergy with combination of HER2 PD1 inhibitors. So we're ha trying to learn from that, uh, uh, from these lessons and expand it. So it, you may see the future where anti PD1 therapy based combination in certain subsets of tumors are used together with tumor targeting antibodies.